going on there folks good afternoon it is the earth master here on the live stream on this uh, tuesday september 14 2021 date 2 40 p.m california time and the latest quake on the globe a 3.0 earthquake striking in southern california just a few minutes ago nothing significant but a little sign of increase in activity ramping up in the southern part of uh, the state checking out the uh, latest Info here on the USGS map shows that 3.0 down here near Little Creek, California. Pretty much right smack dab on the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Zooming in a little bit closer shows uh, just kind of sitting off to the right a little bit or left to the west. Uh, I guess it's kind of, I guess it's really on the San Jacinto Fault Zone, uh, which kind of is pretty darn close to the <laughs> San Andreas Fault. Let me tell you, 3.0. 8.2 kilometers below surface looks like possibly maybe a couple people felt that uh, little earthquake at least one in upland 21 kilometers away uh, a little bit of activity kicking up in the california area up and down the uh, pacific north american plate boundary including some up here just to the east of the san andreas fault uh, 3.8 kicking off in the uh, diablo range Kalinga sits down to the southeast a little bit. Also up here around San Jose, Fremont region. A little earthquake along the Calaveras Fault System, a 2.9 near Milpitas. That's the 2.5 and above threshold. Looking at the all magnitudes map here. Uh, doesn't really add too much more onto it, but uh, definitely shows the activity in Ridgecrest, Antelope Valley, and the uh, Tonopah area in Nevada is still showing earthquake activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, San Jacinto Fault area runs from right about here where that earthquake is uh, that just struck that three-pointer down south here to a significant distance. Pretty lengthy fault system. Uh, right now, just some microquakes down here to the south. Salton Sea really not seeing too much activity. 1.7 on the western side of the Salton Sea. Don't see uh, too much swarming there. Most of the time it's over here on the southeastern edge. We're up here towards the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. So kind of watching this movement. Uh, all it takes is a little trigger and uh, bada boom, bada bang, we got a big one going. We'll see. A little bit of movement up into the Cascades as well. Nothing significant. Just a little microquake outside of Mount Rainier. And uh, Intermountain West region. Still seeing some activity up against the edge of this mountain range into Utah. Been watching this area for uh, quite a while. Let's go back the last 30 days and check out the... Uh, a uh, multitude of quakes here in this little fracture area. It's kind of following a specific level. 174 earthquakes over the last 30 days in this area of Utah. Sunnyside, Cal or Sunnyside Utah. Um, in that mountain range. Kind of just right up against it. Uh, I know there's specific fault systems out there. But USGS not uh, showing that here on this area. On this system. Uh, I think we can look at, uh, let me see if I can find these other ones. Uh, Where is it? Oh, there it is. Got it right here. I kind of wanted to see uh, what's out there around the Utah region far as um, all the fault systems go. It's right up against this area. Uh, near Cedar, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, just just outside to the east and northeast of Cedar, Utah. That activity kicking up. And there's not... Well, there's some little fault systems out there, it looks like. Looks like the uh, Price River area faults. Low accumulation rates, it looks like. But... Uh, little uncertainty in this area when it comes to the potential stress buildup but uh, there's definitely uh, some fault systems out there uh, east and all over uh, the south there towards cedar utah um so yeah kind of keep an eye on that it's been bubbling i shouldn't say bubbling but uh been popping off for for a little while in utah uh into parts of texas a little bit of movement as well oklahoma getting a little earthquake activity near uh, what is that? Renfro? Renfro, Oklahoma. Never heard of it. Kind of towards the Kansas, uh, Oklahoma state line. What else we got down here in South America region? A couple small quakes, 
and a 4.4 into the uh, Peru Chile trench area of South America. Also some activity around the Fiji Islands area, Samoa region, getting in on a uh, little earthquake activity. 113 kilometers for this 5.2, pretty deep. And of course that uh, earthquake up here near Japan that kind of occurred last night, south of Japan, uh, that 5.8. Originally, I think, of, wow, they downgraded it again. I thought it was a 5.9, okay. Downgraded again, 368 kilometers, still pretty deep. We haven't seen any further movement in this region since yesterday. Kind of watching it, looks like right now the activity bouncing back here to the west coast, North American plate. Uh, so we will keep an eye on that. There was some movement over here, uh, Indonesia area west. Uh, a little 5.3 and also some movement up into the uh, Afghanistan region looks like, or Pakistan area. And a small little earthquake over here around the Greece area. But uh, keeping an eye on things. Way up here and uh, outside of Greenland, I'm not even gonna, uh, I'm not even gonna try that name. But you guys see it there in the blue circle, 4.5. This occurred last night. Uh, just kind of, kind of thought it was weird seeing all that activity way up there. It does happen, but uh, it just doesn't happen too often. Uh, what do we got for Yellowstone National Park? Let's check this out here real quick into the, uh, um, well, not a whole lot going on there, folks. As far as trimmer and whatnot goes, we can't really see that until a little bit later this afternoon. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this little earthquake here real quick again to see exactly. Outside of Scotland, it looks like California Little Creek. Uh, San Jacinto Fault area it extends kind of down here just just to the south maybe over here to the around the earthquake area as well but it's pretty darn close to the San Andreas Fault that plate boundary uh, on the southern end southern section I should say southern branch close to it uh, but uh, yeah we'll, we'll keep an eye on things folks hope everyone's having a good day we will chat to you guys a little bit later on with the a full, complete update video tonight. In the meantime, enjoy your Tuesday, and we will chat to you guys another time. Stay safe out there, folks.